our new FLPULM kit for the Falcon 24 and 25 series included in this new kit is a built-in request to exit switch, 8 foot power lead, and MM4S technology on board. Let's jump in and see how this kit installs. First, we're going to remove the head cover and using a 5 16 nut driver, remove both screws attaching the head assembly to the housing and base rail. Now we can slide off the housing and set aside from the rest of the device. We're going to install our kit at the back of the device and hook on to the back activating bracket. You'll see we have an opening on the underside of the kit for the dogging tail to fit into. Also, I recommend holding the kit by the tabs on each side, like this. That way you can keep the hook stable when installing. To reach the roll pin on the back of the activating bracket, you'll have to depress the push pad as you're installing the kit. It will mean the last part is done by feel, and once you feel it hook into place, be sure to check visually on both sides. Next, make sure the motor bracket has been properly secured to the tabs on the base rail. Now, we can slide the housing back on, being careful not to pinch any wires, making sure we slide it into the channel. This is what's gonna lock in the motor. Reinstall both screws attaching the head assembly to the housing and replace the head cover. Now I'll hook up our push and go connector. and plug it into the motor, fire it off a few times. Now we can set our push to set by depressing the push pad to where we want the motor to pull back to and apply power. After we hear our six beeps, our motor has learned its new location and we can release the push pad and power and refire. Once we have it dialed into where we want it, I'll head to the back of the motor and flip both dip switches to the off position to lock in the programmed location. And that's the beauty of the push to set. Thanks for calling Command Access. How may we help you? 